Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a music award show intro. I saw this animation on an award show and I tried to recreate it and because it's really easy to do, I decided to make a tutorial. All you need is your channel um, logo um, with a transparent background and the logo needs to be white. So let's start. So first we're going to create the composition for the logo. It's going to be 350 by 350 and it's going to be 5 seconds long. So once you've created your composition, you need to import the logo. And as you can see, this is really big, so I'm just going to scale it down and I'm holding down shift while I'm scaling it down. And let's just align it to the center and move it like that. Um, now uh, we need to type in some text and I'm going to change the font size to 60. Uh, the font that I'm using is Nexa Bold and I'm going to type in um, music and I'm going to align that to center. Okay. And that looks good. And then I'm going to change the font size to maybe 45 um, for the new text layer. And I'm going to type in um, awards. And let's see how does this look. So it's a bit too big, so I'm going to change the font size to 40. And I'm going to align this to the center and just move it a bit like that and now um, this looks good. So now we're going to create a rectangle and we're going to cover up um, music with it like that and I'm just going to rename it to music and I'm going to put it on top of my text layer and I'm going to change the track mat of the text layer to alpha mat and as you can see now uh, my text is visible and I'm going to do the same thing with um, the awards text. I'm just going to rename this. Okay. And I'm going to change the track mat to alpha mat. And now we need to um, add some keyframes to the text. So I'm going to select um, these two. And I'm going to press P, which is going to bring up the position um, property. I'm going to move 10 frames forwards by pressing shift and page down. And then I'm going to create um, the first keyframe. Then I'm going to move 10 more frames and I'm going to create the second keyframe. Then I'm going to return um, to the first keyframe and I'm going to change um, this value. And I'm going to move this text down there. Now, if I play this animation, um, we made this. So I'm just going to select um, these four keyframes and I'm going to press F9 and that's going to ease them. So this is what we created. Um, now we need to create our main composition. And the preset that I'm going to use is HDTV. Um, 1080 and it needs to be five seconds long too and right now we need to create all those other elements so first I'm going to create a new shape layer and I'm just going to rename it to first and we need to make the outwards expanding circle so I'm going to add an ellipse two of them in fact and I'm going to add a fill and I'm going to add merge paths. So I'm going to change the mode of merge paths to um, subtract and I'm going to change the fill color um, to white. So we need to move um, five frames forwards by pressing page down and then we need to create a first keyframe on the ellipse path one and we're going to change its size to zero um, and then we're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to change the size to 600. 
Um, then we're going to move five frames um, backwards and we're going to create a first keyframe on the ellipse path two. We're going to move 10 frames forwards and we're going to change the um, size to 575. And I forgot to change the value of the first keyframe um, to zero. So right now we have an animation that looks like this. And the only thing left is to ease um, these keyframes. So now let's move on to those circles that are inside of this one. So we need to create a second shape layer. I'm just going to rename this so that I can stay um, organized. And inside of this um, shape layer, we're going to add an ellipse um, a stroke and we're going to add a repeater. So we're going to change the size of this ellipse to 550. And I'm just going to turn off the repeater right now. Um, then we need to change the stroke um, width to 8. And we need to um, adjust the repeater. So we want um, 7 copies and we need to change the position to 0. Um, we need to change the scale to 94, um, okay, and we need to change the end opacity to 0. And as you can see, um, now we have that nice effect. Um, the only problem is that um, these circles are visible um, before this main um, circle appears. So we just need to um, go to 0 0.15 and we need to um, press Control shift d to split this layer and then we're going to delete um, this part um, that's in the beginning so up to this point we've made um, this so the only thing left right now is to make um, that decoration for the logo and then we need to import the logo um, itself um, so let's create a new shape layer and we are going to rename it to logo um, decoration and we're just going to add an ellipse and we're going to add a stroke and then we also need to add um, trim paths and we need to add a repeater so first I'm going to change the size of the ellipse to maybe 380. Um, that's a bit too much so let's change it to 370. And let's turn off the repeater. Um, then we need to change the stroke width to um, 3. And we need to um, make some keyframes um, right here um, on trim paths. So we want this layer to start at 0, um, 0.11, so I'm going to split it right there, and I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to create some keyframes right here. So I'm going to click on the stopwatch on the start, and I'm going to move um, 15 frames um, forwards, and I'm going to create a second keyframe um, at 25%. Um, then I'm going to create an end keyframe um, and I'm going to change the value to zero and then I'm going to move uh, 15 um, more frames and I'm going to change this value to 25 and as you can see we made this. So right now I'm going to enable the repeater and I'm going to um, need four copies. Um, then I'm also going to need to change um, the position to zero and the rotation to plus 90 degrees. And as you can see, we have um, that um, logo element. So right now we're going to import the logo composition. And as you can see, um, we need to adjust it. So first we need to move it right here so that it starts with this logo um, decoration. And then we need to parent this logo decoration to the logo itself. And we need to create some scale keyframes. So I'm going to select 
the logo composition and I'm going to press S and that's going to bring up the scale property. I'm going to create a first keyframe and the value is at 100. Then I'm going to move 10 frames forwards and I'm going to change it to 110. And then I'm going to move 20 frames um, forwards and I'm going to change it back to 100. So right now we're almost done. The only thing left to do is to adjust this decoration because it's a bit too big. So I'm just going to change um, the size of this ellipse path to 360. And that looks good. And I'm just going to um, add two new um, solids for the background. The first one is going to be a deep shade of purple. And then I'm going to need one um, that's um, red. So like um, that. Okay. And now I'm going to um, add uh, Venetian blinds to um, my red solid. So let's type in Venetian blinds and let's add that to um, our solid. And then let's type in um, block dissolve. Let's add that effect to our um, solid. And right now I could adjust this to get a custom um, background. Um, I can change these values manually if I want to. Um, but the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Venetian blinds. Then I'm going to shift click on block dissolve to select these two effects. And then I'm going to click on brainstorm. And I'm going to change the randomness to 100. And then as you can see, this one looks really nice. So let's include it in the next brainstorm. And let's do this a couple of more times until we get a nice looking background. And this one looks nice. So I'm going to go with this one. And as you can see, um, we're done. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, then please leave them in the comments. Um, please subscribe for more tutorials and thank you for watching.